Hello guys, this is Alana from Comic Cosplay and today I want to talk about corgis. So this video is not really cosplay related, but a very important topic for me. Especially since you see Salda and also Midna in a lot of my crafting videos. So I also get plenty of messages from people who think about getting a corgi for themselves and like even people who want to get them as a gift for their kids, which you should totally not do. So I thought I'd share a video with you what you should know about corgis before you actually get one for yourself. I personally, I want to get a dog forever, but it took me quite some time and effort until I was ready. The very first time I decided I wanted to get a dog, I was basically a student and I basically I had no time at all because I was busy the whole day and I was also living in a tiny apartment and next to the apartment there were like no walkie opportunities, like no parks, no green areas. So I basically, I was just not ready to take care of a dog. So then later um, I became self-employed so I'm basically now at home all day long and also I have a really big apartment and also the apartment is next to a really nice and big park so uh, once I got ready I finally decided to get Zelda my first dog and then also Midna and now I'm able to take care of them properly so what I want to say is just because you really 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 want to get a dog you're maybe not already ready to get a dog. You need to find time and space and you need to find the right lifestyle which actually fits to have a dog and you need to be able to give an animal a good life it deserves. So it's just so horrible and sad that so many dogs actually end up in shelters and like some of them actually living the rest of their life there just because people had like different expectations. The dog is let there because it's suddenly not a cute puppy anymore or it suddenly has medical bills or it suddenly requires more time that you expected or that you maybe have. It's just awful. So as a person with a lot of reach and probably also as a person who inspires others to think about getting a corgi as well, I thought it would be important to share some awareness and also some important information before you actually make a life changing decision. First of all, corgis are a long living breed. This means they can become between 12 or 15 years old, maybe a little bit older. And it's basically a very long term commitment and you have to take care of them every single day. I mean, yes, you can cuddle them and you can play with them every single day, but you also have to wake up very early every single day to take them on a walkie and you have to make them food and like you have to take care of them and brush them and everything. And like, this for 15 years so really think about that i mean yes as puppies they're like tiny and cute and cuddly and everything but you have to think about that they're actually staying puppies only for six months and after that they grow up and they become like this gigantic ham sausages and then they're not so cute anymore i mean yes corgis are also grown up quite cute but you have to think about that like they are grown up for 14 and a half years and you're not getting a puppy actually but actually a grown-up dog instead second corgis are medium to high energy dogs which means they need a lot of your time every single day and especially also a lot of your attention we personally we spend like three hours every single day for walking them, training with them, playing with them, cuddling them. And you really have to think about it if you actually have this time for your dogs and if you're able to do this commitment every single day. So this means no matter uh, if it rains outside, if it storms outside, if it's snowing outside, or if you're super tired because you played Monster Hunter the whole night, you have to take them out very early. And if you don't do so, they will poop in your bed, on your face. So better take them out. Third, dogs are expensive. So basically, when you got your puppy, it's not that it's just there and then it's happy, but you also have to feed it and like take care of it and everything. And this costs quite a lot. So basically, we spend between 50 and 70 euros per month per dog just for food 
for Zelda and Midna. And in addition, you also have medical bills, like imagine something serious happen, you usually spend like um, several thousand dollars actually just for bill. And then you also have like taxes and then also insurances. You also have to um, pay uh, dog toys and also like all the special little extras like beds and like costumes and also things your dog might destroy. Um, so really think about it. At the end, you pay several times as much as you spend for a dog just in a year for all the extra things you maybe not thought about before. Next, if you like to keep your house or apartment clean, then don't get a corgi because corgi is actually one of the breeds who shed the most. Like the most. And I mean, like you see in the time I'm actually doing this video here, I get like so much fur just from cuddling them. And basically uh, you get fur on your clothes, you get fur on your food, you get fur on your crafting materials and you get fur every single day. We actually, we got a Roomba to clean like at least most of the house, but I still have to vacuum everything every single day and it doesn't really help. So um, yeah. Have fun if you want to get a corgi. And uh, yeah, and in addition, corgis actually have two heavy shedding seasons. So basically they do it like twice a year. And other than that, they just shed normally. So you can still keep on brushing them, but it won't stop. Whoa. In addition to brushing your corgi as many times as you can, you also have to brush their teeth, you have to trim their nails, you have to trim their paw fur, and also need to keep uh, everything clean on them. And um, the thing is, since corgis have quite short stumpy legs, their belly actually gets quite dirty no matter where they go. So uh, you also might have to um, wash them a little bit more often than any other dogs. And especially corgis or probably also other dogs like to rub their face in something stinky, disgusting. And yeah, you have to clean them then as well. Next on the list, corgis are crazy barkers. The thing is, corgis are herding or guarding dogs, which means they have to warn you of everything. So basically, if something is wrong or suspicious or just different or whatever, or maybe they have to just let it out, then they will bark at it like crazy. And with these two girls, it actually even multiplies. So if you want to keep your house uh, not so noisy or like if you like it quiet, then I wouldn't really recommend to get a corgi because sometimes they are really crazy. Corgis are also super intelligent and learn things super quick and this means they also need a lot of attention and entertainment. And yeah, uh, we do a lot of things with Zelda and yeah, she learns things super easy and Midnight is super playful as you can see. And when we actually got Zelda, we did a lot of her and spent a lot of time with her. But despite of that, she felt still a little bit lonely. And despite of, uh, because of that, we actually got Midna, her little annoying sister. And I think if you actually don't spend a lot of time with your Corgi or don't give them the attention they want, they can become quite destructive and start chewing on some things. And yeah, you have to consider that as well. Besides of teaching them cool tricks, however, you also have to show them proper behavior every day around. Like they have to learn how to walk properly on the leash. Uh, they need to learn how to stay alone at home or how to get around with other dogs and kids and everything. And yeah, and how to give paw. And luckily, Corgis are learning very fast, as I said. So if you're persistent here, you don't need to worry about that. And yeah, corgis are quite awesome here. Yeah. So all of these things might sound very negative. I mean, you know, like dogs are very expensive. They can be very exhausting. They can be frustrating. They need a lot of time. They are dirty. But I wanted to share all of these things with you because you cannot avoid it if you get a corgi or like any other dog. And maybe even a corgi is not the right breed actually for you. Maybe you want a dog which actually doesn't shed. Maybe you want a dog which is like, um, which 
which is like larger or smaller maybe you also don't like barking if you also are not happy with uh, some of these things i mentioned maybe you should get another breed or maybe even a cat or hamster or something else or like maybe just a plushie and then that's fine finally don't support any puppy mills, non-registered breeders and especially not eBay. Um, there are so many poor souls and shelters who are waiting for a new home and for a family who are lost and lonely and who would be really, really happy if they could be adopted by you. So keep your eyes open, especially first in shelters and maybe you find a dream dog just there. I personally I wanted to get a corgi from the very beginning and since I'm from Germany there are no corgis in our shelters and so I was searching for breeder and I found a very very nice and very responsible nice lady and friends and so she gave me Zelda and Midna and I'm very happy for them but I basically I wanted to had uh, to get a dog with a very specific temperament a very specific size and a very specific energy level so it actually fits to my own lifestyle and not just any dog from any shelter um, so basically um, keep your eyes open maybe you find a dog in a shelter would actually fit to your lifestyle or if you want to get a corgi really search for a proper registered and responsible breeder finally I know this was a very different video but as I said it was a very important topic for me and I hope I was able to give you all the information you needed if you still have any questions just write me a comment and yeah as I said if you want to get a pet or like if you want to get a dog or like any other pet really think about that don't do any spontaneous decision and consider how much of a commitment it actually is to take care of a pet and buy my books. <laughs>